grew up in the church, um, grew up at First Baptist, um, have known Alan and Denise and, and Jordan and Emily since as long as I can remember. And uh, started there and it's just kind of always been exposed. I remember I was baptized, um, I want to say right before my freshman year of high school at First Baptist. And it's just kind of always um, been a good foundation laid down by my parents, my grandparents on both sides. And uh, one of those things, never really had a choice and thankfully never really, you know, got too far uh, off the beaten path, I guess. Um, I mean, I had a lot. I had a lot of faithful people in my life, between my folks, grandmas, grandpas, um, aunts, uncles, relatives, you know. Um, but, you know, as far as the church goes, there was a lot of different kind of pastors that I, I kind of knew. Uh, they kind of either came and went or was closer to or not closer to. But, you know, Alan, honestly, has probably been the most, he's been the most stable force there, um, the most, you know, present person there. Um, and uh, uh, t to the point where he, he uh, married Kelsey and I four years ago this September, happy anniversary, babe. Uh, and so I would say that, you know, with my family and, and that foundation and then with Alan kind of uh, grabbing me by the neck and, and helping me along the way, I'd say that's, that's probably been the most uh, important and most, um, you know, prominent people helping me. What has made following Jesus a challenge? Um, I think a little bit of it's our culture. Um, and you know, kind of what, what the guys have been preaching on here the last few months is, I feel like the church kind of um, pushes away some folks in some aspect, not our church um, by any means, but just the religion in general sometimes, or the, the impression that people get of, of the Christian faith and, and whatnot. Um, you know, one thing I struggle with probably is, is sharing and, and trying to reach out as much as I could. And, and I've got a couple friends that I've just become more close with the last few years and they grew up without really any faith. Great people. I mean, they are, they're some of the most honest, trustworthy, some of the best friends a guy could ever ask for. They know the faith's important to me and they know I'm a long ways from perfect, but they know, um, you know, and I, you know, I try to talk a little bit, but you know, probably not as much as I could or should or need to. I guess honestly, one of the things I struggle with and, and whatnot, or that I, when I find my faith is maybe the weakest, is you see bad things in the news, bad things happening, and and I, that I have a hard time with that, and I do, you know, whether it's kids passing away or catastrophic events or whatever it might be, um, you know, you hear the the you know atheists or, or non-believers or whatever saying, well, if, if God existed, where is He in this, and why didn't if God, if your God's so powerful, why didn't He fix this, and I know it doesn't work that way, but I still sometimes, you know, you find yourself, you think, you know, you question things and I think questioning stuff's all right. Um, I think that's kind of important at times, but sometimes that's where I struggle. Maybe where I fall short a little bit is, I guess when, when we're supposed to be strongest, sometimes I do take a step back and like, well, why did that person have to die? Or that person didn't deserve to die or that didn't, that shouldn't have happened. And so. Probably just the, you know, the eternal promise of, you know, salvation and, um, you know, seeing him at work in people's lives and then, you know, watching my two boys be born and, and you know, raising, you know, two little guys right now and hopefully raise them into, into good men and, and um, you know, set a good example with Kelsey and, and to be good parents, Christian parents, um, Christian following uh parents set a good example as did my folks and my grandparents and um I guess that's kind of what you know helps helps maybe push me motivate me um what I want to strive for I guess I, I would guess I would just say you know have an open mind open heart and um you know, try to not form some of your own judgments, you know, based on what either you hear or the media tells you or what's cool or what's appropriate or whatever. And just kind of open, put yourself out there, kind of open yourself up and just, um, you know, when you see him, you know, at, at work, it, it's pretty cool. One, 
you know, probably the biggest difficulty that I've had in my life is when I was a freshman in college. So we're talking 18 years ago, a long time ago. Um, I was shot uh, while deer hunting. Well, with a good buddy, best buddy and I were deer hunting. His gun went off on accident, caught me in the leg. And uh, the next six months were just a constant progression of surgeries, rehab, setbacks, progressions, the, the whole gamut of, of things. And uh, in and out of Rochester, Minnesota, and, and in Sanford Hospital, and just it, it was a pretty kind of tumultuous time. And uh, you know, supposed to be this freshman freshman in college, um, playing college baseball, just had a lot going on, and and uh, that was kind of it was a tough time. Um, but you know, I think my faith helped me through that a lot. I never really had the "why me" attitude. I, I guess I've never been really raised that way. I just, all right, this is what happened. This what, what you got to do to get over it. Sure, it kind of stunk, and it was kind of a bummer a little bit, but. Um, through all that, uh, the first Baptist of the time, but, but more than anything, Alan and Denise, uh, were there and, and prayed with me and, and, and mom and dad, cause it was a hard time for them as well. And my sisters and just, uh, were kind of that, you know, that rock, that, that solid support, you know, that we needed at that time. And so that was kind of my toughest, you know, thing that I've ever had to go through. And I was fortunate to keep my leg and everything worked out in the long run, but, um, you know, kind of seeing the love of God during that time and uh, the help that was offered at that time um, from our congregation friends and, and a lot of you guys here in the audience and here in the, in the congregation today um, were part of that. And so that's probably, uh, you know, that was probably just one thing I should touch on that, that, that uh, helped me through a pretty, pretty crummy time. So.